So it's pretty clear that Milan Lucic is not re-signing with the Calgary Flames this offseason. The dude is a free agent, and clearly, he wants to test the waters. Now, the two teams he's been linked to the most are absolutely hilarious. Number one, his hometown Vancouver Canucks who he beat for the Stanley Cup in his hometown, in their building, shattering the hearts of Canucks fans everywhere. And B, uh, in 2013, he said that he's done trying to defend Vancouver, and other than Rogers Arena, we will never see him in downtown Vancouver again. So that's just hilarious to me that they're in the mix. And the other team is the Boston Bruins, the team that drafted him, that gave him a shot, and that he won the Stanley Cup with in 2011. Remember how scary good the Bruins were in the early 2010s? They were an absolute machine, and Lucic was right at the forefront of that. I mean, for a big part of that, he was the face of the big bad Bruins of the 2010s. Like, I remember whenever I'd walk around in public and I would see somebody with a Bruins jersey on, I would bet if I asked him to turn around, number 17 was on the back. He was an absolute fan favorite. Everyone loved him, and he was so good there. Perfect fit in Boston. But in 2015, the Bruins missed the playoffs. Lucic was on the verge of needing a new deal. They wanted to change the culture, so they trade him to the LA Kings. He plays one year there, which was very good, and then he gets a big money deal with the Edmonton Oilers. And that's when his career started to take a turn for the worse. What people don't talk about is his first year in Edmonton. It was the first time the Oilers had made the playoffs since the decade of darkness and Luch had a very productive season. But after that, it just went completely downhill to the point where he got traded for James Neal, bad contract for bad contract. And Flames fans, including me, were going, what? We got Lucic at this money? Why? He's going to be terrible. And this is what people don't talk enough about. Luch came in with a great attitude and he said, you know what? I'm not a first or second line 30 goal scorer anymore like I was in Boston or LA. I'm going to be a third or fourth line grinder. I know my role and I'm going to go in there and I'm going to battle and I'm going to be an example player. And he was awesome. He turned into one of my favorite players with the Flames despite never scoring more than 10 goals as a member of the Flames in a season. But I'll tell you, man, between all the flack that this guy caught for the contract he had and the role he played in Calgary and even contemplating retirement at certain points this guy has all the respect in the world from me from how he battled through that and managed to stay alive in terms of playing hockey in the NHL when a lot of people counted him out and even going to go play for Canada at the world championships this year I mean he's earned the right to have another NHL contract now look Luch if you're expecting more than uh, a million bucks It's going to be tough, I think. But just the fact that this guy is in a position where he's probably going to get another NHL contract is just a show of perseverance and determination that really should inspire a lot of people. And for him to go back to where it all started with his ruins would be epic. Yes, he's going to be in a fourth line role. He might not even play all the games, might be a healthy scratch a few nights, but I feel like he would suit perfectly in there. He's still got a few of his old buddies playing on that team. And they're going to be good, so I think it's a really good fit, not just on the ice, but off the ice as well, as far as leadership and culture. Bring back some of the winning magic from the early 2010s Bruins. Man, it would be awesome to see him end the career there, and he deserves it. Might even have another chance to win a Stanley Cup, which would be super sweet to see. And I gotta say, I would much rather see Luch return to Boston, finish where it all started, instead of going to Vancouver. I think Boston would be more the move here. What do you think about Luch? Each of course, there's other teams as well that can bid for his services. Do you think he can still play? Who do you think should snatch him up, and for how much? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.